Hello, 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 my friends. Welcome or welcome back to my vlog channel. Today I am bringing you a fun little spend the weekend with me vlog. It is currently Friday. It's like 3.30 p.m. I'm all dolled up, looking stunning, gorgeous, beautiful, because Josh and I are going to the NBA All-Star Celebrity Game. If you're a fan of the NBA, you like basketball, you might know that the NBA All-Star Game is being held in Salt Lake City this weekend, at least the weekend that I'm filming this. By the time this goes up, It'll already have happened, but there's a bunch of different events and stuff going on in the city this weekend And we got tickets to the celebrity game people like 21 Savage, Janelle Monae A bunch of different celebrities are gonna be playing basketball and we're going we have to catch the train at around 4 So I'm just waiting for Josh to get off work and then we'll be heading out I wish I could bring the vlog camera to vlog while we're there But they do not let you bring in like anything anymore so i'll just vlog on my phone we're gonna go get some good food watch the game and enjoy our friday night so i'll give you an ootd i've got on these two cute little necklaces this one's like color beaded and this one has a little white heart and then i've got my white waffle knit henley this is from gap and i love it i have it in white and black and it's so comfy and then we've got some classic just straight leg jeans and some white sneakers, of course. Pretty simple little fit. I'm gonna just put on like a coat over top. Yeah. I do really want to get a jazz jersey because obviously the Utah Jazz are the team that I'm rooting for always when it comes to basketball. The Utah Jazz have just been like a big part of my childhood growing up because my dad is like a really, really big fan. He runs a whole like jazz themed website and so Growing up, we would go to the jazz games and I definitely had like hoodies and jerseys when I was younger, but I don't have one now that I'm an adult. So I'm on the lookout for one. I just haven't decided like what one I want to get. My dream jersey though is like over a hundred bucks. So, but I do definitely want to get a jersey to wear because we've been going to quite a few basketball games lately. I mean, now the season's ending, but still. We're about to head out. Maybe uh, 21 Savage will score a three pointer. Who knows? The Unbelievable feeling, but I've seen him live in concert and he was very boring. So we'll see if this is any better. Sushi, what are you going to do while we're gone? He is just sunbathing on the couch. He got the minky blanket. He is living the life, huh? This one's also sunbathing. It's Friday then, it's Saturday Sunday. It's so sunny, I can't see. My eyes are too sensitive for all the light, but. I was thinking about bringing my sunglasses. Yeah, I should have brought my sunglasses for sure, but we're walking to the train station. I'm like, wow, such a great vlog clip. Me in a dirty window. We are waiting for our train to go home. We just went to Snowmobile Pizza. Don't go there. If you're in the Salt Lake City area, do not go to Snowmobile Pizza. I'm so sorry. I'm so, do, do not do it. Uh, don't say I didn't warn you because they just burned their fucking pizza. But we're gonna go home and just hang out for the rest of the night. I might postmate something else because that was like really just not, didn't do it for me and I'm still hungry. But the basketball game was pretty cool actually. There was like, a few noticeable people. There was Shaq, Ben Affleck. Some other people. And some other people. It was fun. I think I enjoyed it a lot more than I even thought I would. So the pizza might have been a bust, but the basketball was, was good. How was your hot dog at the place? The hot dog was better than the pizza. I'm a hot dog girly. I know it's kind of a, like, it's not something I'm proud to admit, but I'm not gonna hide from it. So yeah, well our train gets here in one minute, so. Can you see the camera shaking because I'm cold? Okay, we are walking home. It's quite windy, so I don't know how the audio is, but I forgot to mention this. But when we were at the game, I got a text from Ticketmaster because I got a pre-sale code for Beyonce Vegas tickets. So tomorrow, I have to be up and ready by 2 p.m. so I can attempt to secure these tickets for Beyonce. 
and I'm very, I'm just fucking happy I got a pre-sale code because the last time I tried to get a pre-sale code was with Taylor Swift and we all know how that turned out. So I was like not looking very hopeful when Beyonce announced her tour, but this is like my dream concert. So I'm ready. I'm ready. I have the pre-sale code and we're going to get tickets tomorrow. We're home now. I'm all snuggled up in my hoodie. Literally the best thing ever. I love this so much. And we got Wingstop and it was delicious. How was the Wingstop? <laughs> out of 10. Seven. Seven out of 10? That was like a solid nine for me. Good morning. I'm quite hungover. I'm wearing my Despacito shirt and we're going to the gym. I'm probably not gonna do anything crazy. Just a nice little walk to get my body moving. Love a good post gym lunch. Animal fries, of course, but the real showstopper is always gonna be the burger. I did something new today and I got chopped chilies on my burger, which I've never tried from In-N-Out before. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna give a little PSA for anybody that does not live near an In-N-Out and wants to try it. If you ever go to In-N-Out, their fries are gross. Okay, they are disappointing. They are not great. They make them fresh as you order, so that's good, but they taste like cardboard. So you have to get them animal style. Like, it's a must. That's the only way that they're like, Good. Do not go to In-N-Out for the fries. You go for the burgers. Okay, we're just playing some Overwatch, but I am in queue for Renaissance tickets. Wish me luck. Here's hoping I get them. Manifesting. With 800 people ahead of me, I swear to God. We got them! Let's go! We're going to Beyonce. We're going to Beyonce. We got the ticket. Thank you, God. Hello everyone, so it's been a few hours. It is currently 7 p.m. and I'm all dolled up because Josh and I are going to this little arcade bar that's near us. They just have a bunch of drinks, food, and like a bunch of old school video games. That's where we're going. I'm just about to pre-game and then we're gonna take the bus. Cheers. Whew. It's so cold on my teeth, but it's good. It helps it go down, but... <coughs> Here's my little OTZ. I'm wearing these two little layered necklaces. Then I've just got this black tank top from Zara and this like sheer flowy little black top. This is from Urban. I got this a few years ago. It like ties if you want it to tie, but I'm just gonna wear it open. And then basic blue jeans, of course and my high top converse. Oh my goodness. Perfect thing to get after a night out, you know? Let's do a taste test. Oh, my lipstick looks awful. It sure was good. But yeah, it would be good for <laughs> chocolate sauce. Good? Mm-hmm. And the workers were so nice and yeah. so cute. Franco's churros and crepes. How's the churro? Pretty good. Let me taste. Yeah, that's good. I've never had like a non just like frozen churro. Yeah, like a fresh churro. Yeah. yeah. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday actually. Yesterday I did not do anything really worth vlogging. The morning was spent visiting with family. Josh, me, and my mom went and visited my great-grandfather in the nursing home that he's staying in. And so we were just, you know, reminiscing on old memories, having some quality family time. Obviously that's private, so I'm not going to share that in the vlog. And then after that, I just had a very, very lazy Sunday. Josh and I were supposed to go out for like a Valentine's Day dinner. 
and then we ended up canceling our reservation ordering takeout and just like rotting on the couch together and just hanging out because we were so busy on friday and saturday that we didn't want to go anywhere so we literally just ate vessel kitchen takeout and watched Modern Family, and then I took a nice relaxing bubble bath. I did, however, finish the Patreon book club pick for February, which is Blood, nope, <laughs> no it's not, which is Honey and Spice by Bolu Babalola. I'm gonna give it, I think like a four star. I really, really enjoyed it. If you wanna see my full review, check out my Goodreads. But yeah, make sure you join our book club. It's in my Discord server, which I have linked in the description box. For March, we're gonna be reading one of my favorite books, Normal People by Sally Rooney. So I think it's gonna be quite polarizing. I'm very interested to see how everyone feels about it. But yeah, make sure you join the book club if you haven't already. But I'm here to close out today's vlog. Thank you for hanging out with me this weekend. Thank you for spending time with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you all very, very soon in my next one, and I'm sending you lots of love and light.